Hello, I'm Angela Prince-Will, and in this segment of Ask AP, um, the question I'm answering is, can you please confirm the limitation period for equalizing our property? Yes, I can. So three dates to keep in mind. The first one, the limitation period for bringing your um, claim for an equalization of your net family properties is two years after the date your divorce is granted or six years after the date of separation, and lastly, um, six months after the death of the first spouse. So um, as you can imagine, um, well, the first one's pretty straightforward. You know, when the divorce is granted, it's usually granted in the form of an order. So it's easy to tell what, you know, the timelines are. When it, the same, I'll say the same probably applies to death as well, for the most part. When we're dealing with the separation um, date, of course, that is subject to um, interpretation, depending, especially in scenarios where people are still living separate and apart in the um, in the home, right? So, um, you know, or, or one party is is thinking that you know the parties are just on a break, but the 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 relationship did not, you know, break down to the point where there was no reconciliation. The subject of the date of separation is a whole different um, subject. It is a huge area on its own. And I have answered a few questions here and there on the issue of the date of separation. But just be mindful if you believe that you're going, you know, you have been separated from, or if you're looking at um, separating from your partner, just be careful. The time is ticking six years after that date of separation. You may be prevented from bringing a claim for equalization of your net family property. Now, what's the consequence of that? Well, it could mean things like being unable to share, you know, properties that your spouse owns that are that's not in your name. So if you, you know, the only asset you have, for example, is the uh, matrimonial home and it's jointly owned, then, it doesn't really matter. It's it's no big deal. At whatever time that you divide that property, you will get your share because you're getting on the basis of um, being a joint owner to that asset. But things aren't always so clear court, right? You might be shortchanging yourself from, you know, account monies that your partner may have in an account that's solely in their name. If, if the equalization period passes, you can't touch that. If they have a pension, no matter how large or little, if you allow your limitation period to pass, um, then you know you allow that um, entitlement that you have to to kind of lapse. There is a uh, limited discretion on the part of a judge to be able to um, lift that limitation period for you and allow you to still bring your claim, but it is highly discretionary. Please do not count on that. That. Um, but if if for whatever reason you know you've incurred this delay in good faith or and the other side will suffer no prejudice as, as a result of your delay, then the courts may still allow it to um proceed. Um, however, um, I mean it, it's not something that I would want you to you know to bank on, right? Just do try to bring your claims at the right time within the the limitation periods, which I will repeat two years from the date your divorce is granted, six um, years after the date you separate, and um, six months after the death of one spouse. So I trust that answers your question. And until next time, it's bye for now.